setting up your horse carriage is pretty easy as default you cannot uh, touch or uh, directly on your uh, animesh object so you have to right click and then uh, either select touch or edit but before we do anything with our horse carriage we make to sure that uh, we make sure that our uh, surface is walkable if your surface is uh, second life terrain you don't have to do anything it is uh, default walkable but if it is a prim you're using you have to set it to walkable surface to, to be able to do that you right click on your surface and select edit and then you give it a name that you'll recognize later you go to build and then pathfinding and then uh, region objects in here I'll, I'll type the name and snowy I think it was but well, I'll just go right click again but in that case snowy road to let's say snowy uh, road okay and say apply as you can see in here and then you just come to here set it to walkable okay once you do that and if you have I have more than one road in here so uh, you have to do the same process for the other one as well and then you go to build and then you go under pathfinding and this option becomes uh, available so you press rebake region once you do that your road is now walkable so that your characters uh, your animation objects can walk on them now when we finish that we right click on our horse okay and we have a simple script in here and i'll just open it in here and you can set a couple of things in here one of them is the speed desired speed so you can set anything to your liking in here and the other thing you need to set is the points between the points are the uh, points are the points uh, the your animesh object in that case the horse carriage will travel between so um, it's very there's a very sim simple old school way of uh, finding these numbers just create a, a box and just put it where, wherever you like in here and in that case, in that case I'll just um, minimize this so that I can see what I'm doing okay and just have another one let's say you'll tra it will travel between these points right now just if you right click on this you'll see the objects points in here uh, positions right you can set uh, for the convenience uh, you can set this to maybe even numbers um, in here round numbers so actually the Z doesn't really matter because uh, our object is physical every animation object is actually physical so it will fall on the uh, surface doesn't matter what number is that that is so just put this seven so this won't matter much and it's the same well make sure in that case the X is the same in the other one as well so like 106 in that case 106.5 make sure this is one of you don't have to make a straight line it can be diagonal as well so if you put one in here one there it will work too so once you do that you get these numbers you enter these numbers you right click on and well I'll get the script again okay script in here and then just enter those numbers exactly in the same form format like in, in here make sure uh, they are between the brackets open and close brackets between this is the first point vectoral point and the second vectoral point in here right that's all you need to do once you do that there's a, a sound in here and um, or scary sound you can change it to your sound and just make sure you add this to there too and then you just um, save setting that becomes available now there's one glitch and there are there will be times uh, when you touch nothing will happen that's a that's a common glitch so uh, to fix this uh, you need to once you save your uh, your script make sure you just uh, do this process every time just for uh, for the to make sure that it works uh, click this one running make it not running and press reset and do it again and press reset again so that should make it work okay once you do that and if you touch right click and touch your script it will start working and if you touch again it will stop
touch again it will start working